Sean Milliken was one of the heaviest patients ever to appear on My 600 Pound Life, but rather than succeeding in his weight loss journey, Sean had one of the most tragic stories on the show, and you'll never believe why. Sean was 26 years old when he first appeared on season 4 of My 600 Pound Life. He was one of the heaviest patients in the show's history, weighing 919 pounds. His weight completely limited him from living a normal life. He needed two people to help him get out of bed whenever he had to use the bathroom. But it wasn't just that. Even just walking a few steps a day would put so much pressure on his kneecaps that he would experience severe pain. Sean was so big, he could not support his body size and even needed the help of his mother and a close family friend to bathe him. On the show, he revealed how he got like this. Sean said that his upbringing was a nightmare. He apparently began overeating as a child because he was constantly mistreated by his father. His mother, on the other hand, played a huge role in giving him a bad relationship with food. She would struggle with weight herself, and ever since Sean was little, she would give him treats and fast food whenever she came back from grocery shopping. And his parents' divorce only made matters worse, because he was only 10 at the time. He didn't really understand the reason why his parents separated and would often blame himself for it. He started overeating as a way to cope with all the pain he was experiencing, and by the time Sean was in his late teens, he weighed 400 pounds. He was unable to work and was barely able to attend high school, and he severely severely injured his ankle during senior year, he became bedbound. But Sean's mother continued to play a huge role in his weight gain. She was an extreme enabler who gave him all the food he wanted. An excuse she gave was that she felt sorry for seeing her son bedridden like that, so she gave him as much food as he wanted just to make him feel a little happier. But not only did the food make him more miserable, but it also made him rapidly gain even more weight. Because his body could no longer support his weight, Sean started having a bunch of different health problems. He became concerned about the severe swelling on the left side of his leg, and this was what made Sean gain the courage to travel from California to Houston to seek help from Dr. Now. Dr. Now knew from the very moment he met Sean that he was going to be a very difficult patient. Not only was he one of the largest patients he had ever dealt with, but Sean was also not showing any sign of interest in changing his life for the better. Even though Sean Sean's situation seemed hopeless, Dr. Now was determined to help him lose all the weight. He gave him an 800 cal a day meal plan to lose 100 pounds in 60 days. But what happened next was unbelievable. When Sean returned after two months at the clinic, instead of losing 100 pounds, he had gained an extra 100 pounds. This completely shocked Dr. Now, and he decided that it was too dangerous for Sean to be close to his enabler mother. So he decided to admit Sean to the hospital and closely monitor his diet. When Sean did his first weigh-in after he was admitted, he weighed a staggering 1,000 pounds. But after only two months in the hospital, he managed to lose 250 pounds, which convinced the doctor to send him back home and continue his weight loss. But living with his mother didn't seem to benefit Sean in any way. When he returned back to the clinic, they found out that he had regained 43 pounds in less than a month. Dr. Now was devastated, but he didn't lose hope. He sent both Sean and his mother to meet with a psychotherapist. The therapy seemed to be a success because Sean actually managed to lose 350 pounds in the following month. This finally made him qualified for weight loss surgery, and after the surgery, he lost a total of 455 pounds. But unfortunately, his weight loss success didn't last long. In 2017, he appeared at the reunion of My 600 Pounds, Where Are They Now? At first, everyone thought that Sean was just making slow progress when it came to improving his health. But what was happening behind closed doors was something completely different. His mother continued enabling him and tried everything possible to slow his progress. It really felt like Sean's mother might not have had the best intentions when it came to Sean. Dr. Now actually even confronted her. He straight up told her that she was dangerous for Sean and was actually seriously hurting him. After a few months of no progress at all, it became clear that Sean was slowly starting to quit his weight loss journey. This is where Dr. Now interfered again. He decided to admit Sean back to the hospital and restrict him from seeing his mother. He was only allowed to meet his mom once a week for only a couple of hours, and because he didn't have anyone enabling him, he managed to drop 50 pounds again after only one month in the hospital. But this whole experience just made him realize how much he relied on his mom. He started really missing her, and eventually, he decided that it was best for him to return home. So when he came to the next doctor's appointment, it was no surprise that he had regained all that weight back and had even gained a few extra pounds on top of it. And over the next few months, he gained even more weight. 
Still, when compared to where he first started his journey, he was still making progress. Three years after starting the show, he was almost 500 pounds, which is half of what he used to be all those years ago. Unfortunately, this is where it all started going downhill for him. Around this time, his mother passed away due to kidney failure. This completely devastated Sean, and the only thing he could do to numb his pain was eat all day. This led him to gain weight rapidly, and in just a couple of months, he was almost 700 pounds. He was then admitted back to the hospital where he managed to drop all the weight he gained throughout this period. But as soon as he was released, he gained 300 pounds back. He was admitted to the hospital once more, but by then, it was sadly too late. Just two weeks after being hospitalized, Sean passed away from cardiac arrest. He was only 29 years old. Sean's father posted on his Facebook page that the reason that Sean suffered a cardiac arrest was that he had developed an infection around the start of the year. According to his father, Sean had started to have breathing problems during his stay at the hospital. After the doctors saw this, they tried to help him. Unfortunately, his heart gave up. Dr. Now, on the other hand, said that Sean's cardiac arrest didn't happen out of nowhere. It was highly likely that what happened was due to the massive swings in his weight gains and weight losses. Constantly losing and gaining so much weight made it impossible for his body to keep up with the changes. Sean's body could no longer take the strain of his weight, and the incredible amount of stress he put on it caused his bodily functions to drop. This later resulted in his heart stopping. Sean is sadly not the first patient to have passed away after appearing on My 600 Pound Life. As of today, a total of nine patients from the show have passed away of similar causes. The case of Sean Milliken is a heartbreaking one to hear. If it wasn't for his mother having such a huge influence on him, who knows, he might have succeeded in his weight loss journey. But what do you guys think? Did you follow Sean's story on My 600 Pound Life? Let me know in the comments.